It's me, the Nitro Rifle. And I'm joined by the future face of video games, Blessing Adioye Jr., Merc City. Wake up, Samurai. Wake the f up, Samurai. I gotta assume we can say bad words, because there's pee pee and there's boobies in this game, so. Yeah, like if we can if we can show pee pee and in, 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 in the, the, the TD, TDs, then yeah. we, can, we can say bad words. The, the tetas. Um, yeah. What's up, everybody? This is a, a, a we're kind of funny games. You all know that if you're here, you're just watching in review. Um, we are going to be showing off some awesome stuff. Shout out to NVIDIA for uh, for the sponsorship, because you know I love my PC gaming. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to be showing off a lot of cool ray tracing and stuff um, and showing off how DLSS works. And I am about maybe an hour into the game. I didn't want to go too far. Oh. And I was also really busy testing stuff out. And you might be wondering, chat, why is Blessing Adioye not on stream right now? What's happening with this? Um, I've been really worried, Bless, about this stream, right? I've been prepping a lot. I've been doing a lot of homework when it comes to just how to make my PC as optimal as possible. NVIDIA, uh, again, hashtag GeForce partner, NVIDIA supplied me with a RTX 3080. And, uh, oh, and it's awesome. Stuff. It's super sick, Bless. I'm, I'm very jealous uh, that you get to experience the game this way. We're going to talk about it as you get into the stream. We will definitely I don't, talk I, about it. I don't have an NVIDIA, uh, and so I didn't get to experience DLSS and ray tracing. And for as great as the game looked, regardless, on PC, uh, I've seen screenshots and stuff of people playing with ray tracing, tra ray tracing and the NVIDIA uh, improvements that those provide. And that the game looks incredible this way. Real quick, I, again, I want to say thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this. Um, we will be showing off ray tracing and what DLSS does uh, inside of Cyberpunk to make it essentially run better. Uh, there will be playing with uh, ray trace shadows, reflections, global illumination, diffuse illumination, ambient occlusion, all those words I loved back oh, when I was I in love game all dev. Those words. You know I love talking about some volumetric fog bless, and mm. this game has it in spades, okay? Now, this game's Andy, got it in I, spades. I, I think most people are aware of what ray tracing is. I'm very familiar with what ray tracing is now that we've been covering it over the course of this next gen cycle and PCs uh, uh, implementing it. Uh -huh. I'm not too familiar with DLSS. Can you explain to me what DLSS is? I can explain DLSS to you, uh, Blessing, and I also put on my cool cyber glasses, but it's really hard for me to read the screen, so I'm gonna take them off immediately because he just asked that question. DLSS stats are deep learning super sampling. Isn't that the coolest okay. thing ever? So what that it does is really it, cool. it, it, NVIDIA's AI department created a technology to essentially recreate images to make them higher res than what they are. So let's say you got ray tracing or let's say you just wanna run a game at 4K blessing without mm -hmm. DLSS, that's gonna be kind of rough depending on what the game's doing, depending on what settings you have it on. You switch on that DLSS, what it does is it downscales the resolution to something that works maybe like 720p, but then it uses AI, super advanced smart ass AI to then up res that and make the image look like the 4K image. And it is, I just don't understand how this stuff works and it blows my mind that people are figuring this out. So shout out to NVIDIA for just all the smart people. When me and Tim went to go test that stuff out during the 8K event, um, I just like realized like, man, my parents uh, could have been so much more proud of me had I been able to be a computer engineer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead I, instead I talk about about pee pee and boobies in video games, you know what I mean? I, I I just keep reading more and more about DLSS and the idea of getting like max resolutions with like max solid frame rates. It's it's really impressive. Again, yeah, when, when we I guess the the GPU we were playing on when we went to go visit must have been a 3090, right? And that's when we played Death Shining on PC at 8K resolution. And mm -hmm. when we played with DLSS off, obviously there was no ray tracing because the game doesn't have ray tracing. But when we played with DLSS off, it was a stuttery nightmare. It was obviously like 20 frames, maybe 15 frames, kind of just rough looking. You turn yeah. on DLSS and it made the image look damn near identical. I couldn't tell the difference and it was smooth as, as hell because it's just super smart and I can't believe we're there. It kind of reminds me of the, the NVENC encoder here on, on OBS. You know, you used to stream stuff. You When you would stream, you would have to run things at a, your, your CPU would be maxing out like crazy. And then NVIDIA was like, hey, we made an encoder if you want to use it. And then you use it and suddenly like the usage rates are just extremely low. It's really, really damn mm -hmm. impressive. 
I want to re-roll as Nomad. Nomad was going to be my first choice because I like the idea of being that character that comes into the city and is just not familiar because I think that that kind of represents us as a player. And oh, this is a great place to start your your uh, playthrough, by the way. Yeah, because um, I, 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 I got to a next part after this and I was like, oh, this will be kind of cool. That little ride, you know, that little car drive. Yeah. Um, so uh, first off, I have to show people how to you know enable and disable uh, dlss and it's at the bottom you turn ray tracing on and or off or whatever whatever you prefer um i have i'm trying out lighting at ultra we'll see how that works and i'm on balanced dlss so there's a lot of different uh levels of of dlss the highest one being quality which gives you the crisp the most crisp better image of them all obviously you're gonna encounter a little bit more gpu load and then as you go on to more, more performance, balance is there, then performance and ultra performance. And they recommend uh, ultra performance or performance for trying to run this stuff at like 4K and, and stuff like that. Um, but I'm gonna leave it on balance for now. We'll see how that rolls. Um, and yeah, that's how you that's how you enable it, everybody. Um, that's awesome. So let's... Um... Yeah, Nomad, so like Nomad, I like the idea of being a character uh, that's coming to a place for the first time. Like, I, I love Fallout because in Fallout, you're usually playing as the vault dweller that's been in the vault forever. And then you step out and you're like, whoa, what in the world's happened here? And you get to like explore as this newbie to this big old world. Uh, and so that was going to be my original first choice. But then as I got to the main menu, click new game and it gave me the life paths. And something about Street Kid just called out to me. Yeah. I think it was just the fact that like, I, I, as much as I like the idea of Nomad, there's something about the idea of, oh yeah, being this person from the streets who like knows what's up, who knows the people to talk to you on like the, the uh, versus like the corporate side, right? Where both Cor Corpo and Street Kid have both those things going on, where Corpo is knowledgeable about the corporate side of things and what and what that culture and that life is like. Whereas Street Kid knows the people on the, who are on the streets and knowing that in Cyberpunk, eventually that's kind of where you're going to end up, right? Like, no, yeah. these aren't, I, everybody kind of knows this in terms of the trajectory of the game because it takes you there within the first hour, right? But like, I, you're, I like you're the idea you're of building gonna, a reputation, you know? Yeah, you're basically like building reputation, and you're basically like going for building street cred, uh, street cred, and uh, trying to get back on your feet, you know, after like the first hour of Cyberpunk. And so I like that idea of that perspective from the street kid because I do. If if I was in the Cyberpunk world, I think I'd want to be the person that's like, I got all the cool connects. I'm not backstabbing the homies, you know. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't mess with cops. I don't the mess with these big corporations. Back. The streets have my back. Yeah. I want to be that person. Absolutely. Cyberpunk. Chad, first off, how are how are volume levels? Do do me and Bless sound fairly similar? I might have to go back and I might have to tab out of the game and tweak out. And tabbing out of full screen games always scares me because you know Warzone. You don't know what's gonna Warzone crashes on me uh, every once in a while whenever I try that. Um. Yeah. The. Um, just even walk it. Oh shit, that's scary. I was like, why does the image look like that? But it's just plastic tarp. <laughs> uh, I was like, why did it get all cloudy? Um, it's actually kind of cool how the light kind of reflects off the tarp. Yeah, the um, I think there are even just in this beginning area, there are just a couple of really nice areas um, where you get sort of the the the, the ray trace shadows. Um, the ambient occlusion starts to look really, really nice. And for people wondering, what the hell is ray tracing? Because I've had to explain it a couple times. I was Who streaming. Who is ray tracing? I, yeah, I was stream, streaming it the other night, and some people were like, hey, I, I'm i kind of clueless when it comes to this stuff. Um, ray tracing is just is the most accurate lighting can be because it it's based on just real physics. And so essentially, yeah. a light source shoots out. Let's just throw a number out there quintillion amount of rays i don't know if that's true that's probably not true um but all those little rays. rays of light will bounce off surfaces the way light naturally bounces off of things um because when you see games without ray tracing pretty much you know anything i mean most games still now right don't have ray tracing but yeah. when you see games without it uh the lighting you're seeing is Aww. is faked and developers um will create darkness in places where there where there isn't really a shadow because a lighting isn't casting a shadow but if it's a set light source they will create a darker area on the ground uh to fake you know shadows and kind of uh make the game run a little bit smoother that way um and that's what you see in a lot of video games um, yeah and you'll see like lighting bounce off of 
surfaces in realistic ways so that like you know the in ways that you can't really recreate as a developer in terms of the, this this light source let's just say the the sun is bouncing into a window which is bouncing off of the mirror which is about which is reflecting off of the wall like that is a that is a lot to artificially try try and uh simulate yeah, as a developer yeah, for sure and ray tracing will actually give you the real uh basically calculations of, of how that stuff shakes out to give you lighting that looks incredible i'm gonna bring up the stream on my phone just in case because i well i mean you're watching the stream bless so you'll mm -hmm. let me know if there are any issues and there there probably will be hitching um you know the game obviously isn't perfect at launch if you've been on twitter and so uh I, you know there will probably be some frame drops here and there but all that comes with patches and me optimizing my system for it and understanding what i can and can't run because i saw some people trying to run it like the highest settings possible when the game came out on twitch and it's just like oh you're you gotta turn on that dlss brother <laughs> like it's not working out for you right now mm -hmm. um yeah um and obviously with ray tracing you get realistic real-time reflections um which you don't really get in games without ray tracing you will the only reflections you usually see in a game is like in uh, you know the last of us when ellie looks at herself in the mirror you can fake reflection sometimes by having like a dupe on the other side um but um yeah like i mean i just i love looking at every just corner because it really does remind me of being back in art school bless and looking at art station which is like a really popular place uh where um 3d artists and just you know game artists of all sorts put their work up and every corner in this game looks like an art station pro project where they'd be like oh this Dude. is what i built this weekend check this out and it's like you know they built out these props and kind of laid out a scene for you and, and are, are kind of telling a story with their environments and it should just yeah. always interest me. That's man. one of the. I think one, that's one of the biggest achievements of this game for me is the art style and the art direction. Like every, it feels like every everything tells a story. Like when you walk into a room, in a way where obviously RPGs have had this before. Fallout is always going to be my reference because I love Fallout so much. But you walk into a city in Fallout and you're like, okay, you know this place has a story. What happened here? Everything's destroyed, right? Yeah. Uh, Cyberpunk, I think, does does that in a way that different locations different things tell different stories in ways that i feel like you don't get out of uh, you don't get as much out of different games it's like in fallout you go to a city and for the most part you go you go go under a subway and for the most part you know okay cool i get it everything here is destroyed people used to be here now they're not yeah uh, cyberpunk you walk into a room and it's like whoa all right this place is uh it, this is an abandoned bar or maybe even a bar that's still running where uh uh it's, it's a it's a strip club and the, the way in which the lights shine and when you go into the back room you see a fire room and it's messy for whatever reason you can kind of put like a and b together and then you go to a different part of the city and you see uh you walk into like a uh um a settlement with like nomads and stuff and it's like a, okay cool like what's going on over here and you kind of put a and b together the way that stuff kind of comes together in such a uh, an amazing way in terms of the art direction in the game where they just go into magnificent detail that stuff is amazing and then yeah seeing that seeing ray tracing and actual uh uh like resolution uh and and frame rate applied to that even makes it even more impressive because yeah, it's, I, was, I, mean, I will say i think cyberpunk gorgeous. is one of the best looking games oh I've absolutely i i think On like PC right now least. i think right now it is for me like probably probably cyberpunk and like i think demons did a phenomenal job yeah, Demon uh, Souls as well looks with incredible visuals. Too. Um, I mean, bless they they customize the garbage in this game. Um, like, if there's a restaurant, uh, I was I was watching some YouTube video where they, if this place is serving like, you know, uh, food and and cups of soda, I don't know whatever the fuck, that the garbage in the area will be the same thing that is kind of being yeah. dealt there. Like it's just, it's so insane the amount of. The amount of, of detail and obviously you know this game got announced in 2013 so i just like making games is like the most complicated thing possible and i just oh, could 100%. not imagine how and I, I don't think you're there yet i think at a certain point i think maybe right after this mission you get sent back to your apartment and once you leave your apartment you like you take the elevator down and you step out and la and that is kind of your introduction to uh, the, the big city beauty at large. shot 
Yeah, and you're and it's the like title you know, you, card. <laughs> the the first thing, oh, the title card doesn't come through until like eight hours into the game. Oh, got it. Um, I, I'm thinking of the like, trailer where where he walks out into the city and you see everything. You know, yeah, like you just see. Well, everything. that I, I that happens like multiple times because that'll happen essentially every time you you walk out of your apartment like you walk into the city and it's like okay cool here's the city and there there are multiple instances where i guess there's one time where that happens and it's at, at that same point where the title card then pops up and it's like cyberpunk 2077 um but i remember like the first thing i saw both in my preview and in my uh playthrough this time around was uh walking out of that elevator and then first being uh or first seeing this like sushi stand and being like Wow, this place feels like a, an actual sushi, sushi stand. Like you go over to it and you sit down, and it's like you know, there's a. I think Jackie Wells is gonna be the one that's like sitting at it and talking to you and eating sushi and stuff. And it's like, whoa, this place has fucking life. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just can't imagine like how, you know, when they get to a point where like, all right, let's fill out this living, breathing world. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I remember, okay, I have to fight here. That's right. I have to fight. Spoilers, guys. I already, I already did all this, but driving along i just want to kind of like not move a whole lot during these driving scenes just because you know twitch bitrate chat you know it's it's hard to show off visuals when you're streaming because twitch has a 6k bitrate um and um things will get noisy so i'm just gonna try to like i'm gonna go to several spots in this during this sort of uh playthrough and video and I will, i'm just gonna stand and look at a corner of a wall and i'm gonna stand and look at this hallway and i just kind of want you to to see all that stuff and then we'll, we'll be turning off ray tracing as well as sort of so you get that that coke pepsi challenge we're just clicking heads right here guys we haven't hit anybody by the way we haven't hit anybody i don't think i've i, I, I don't like during these driving uh, combat sequences i barely hit anybody the whole game oh really? and, like it ends up it ends up not mattering too much like you'll still get to the end uh of the sequences like i don't i think they're like non-fail and so it doesn't matter that much um but I had so much issue trying to aim at people as you can see. Shoot the driver! Shoot the driver, Blast! Um, I'm the one shooting, actually. I am trying to shoot the driver. There it is. There it is. Oh, actually, your health is going down, and so maybe it is fail. Maybe there is a fail state. All right, so I'm going to try not to move here, chat, because, again, you just... You get all the realistic, real-time reflections that are just so impressive, and I love going to any area in any game where it is raining. And just looking at the ground, dude, I am so jealous that you're playing this uh, with Nvidia because there's so much lighting stuff going on in this game. Oh, absolutely, I wish, dude! Like, I probably, sh I probably should have hit up Kevin, or maybe even like you know borrowed Mike because Michael has like a bunch of RTX stuff. Maybe I could have borrow borrowed that because it's, it's pro this game is probably worth playing with ray tracing. Oh my god, yeah, dude. So that that's one thing is like um. One thing I kind of need to, to make sure that Chad understands is um, when when I play this game off stream, everything obviously runs incredibly well and I can play at a higher res and I can play with like higher all the higher settings or whatever. But it's a streaming thing I'm kind of worried about because I just want the best experience for you all. Um, so this isn't like as good as it gets. So just keep that in mind. God, there's another gnat in my room. Bless. There's been I've killed about 20 oh, gnats no. and I honestly think there's something dying in the wall. I hope it's not Barrett. Oh, no. I hope Barrett's still alive. Nat Daddy. Mm -hmm. What says the Bear, if you're still alive, please say something in chat so we know. I think I so just saw him, but maybe he just died. Damn, are we if he just died, it'll, it'll take longer for the Nats to get there. Yeah, you know, I think true. it's like at least 24 hours. Nah, they're desperate these days, dude. Uh, they're, they're starving. They're like, we're all the humans. They're not outside anymore. <laughs> the heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Ah, uh, he's lying. Uh-huh. Jackie's lying. Trying to be a stand up guy. And this is one, I think this is a chat. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong because I know more people are playing the game now. I don't think this portion is in the Street Kid playthrough. I think this is like a Corporal specific thing. Oh, interesting. Because I remember, I remember going through this during my Corporal playthrough, but I don't remember this scene in my Street Kid playthrough. Oh, it is in Street Kid. Okay, well, I just forgot it then. Yeah. Because I, I, viv I vividly remember doing the street combat stuff in Corpo when I did pre when I did the preview. YouTubers are gonna come after you say you didn't play the game, dude. Hey man, I mean I didn't do crafting, and so <laughs> I didn't play the game. Um, uh, uh, also keep in mind, chat. Whenever, 
when when you're playing a game, um, for example, if any of y'all out there watch like Shroud play PUBG or Tim the Tabman play Call of Duty, when their stream gets really, really noisy, uh, that's because there's just a lot of noisy stuff on stream and the computer is having and Twitch are having trouble, uh, you know, telling the dif differentiating what from what, you know, pixels from grass and the grass and the concrete and all that shit. So right now with the rain, that's probably going to make the stream not look awesome because there's a lot of moving stuff on screen right now. Um, but trust me, it looks super sick on my end. <laughs> looks super sick. Yeah. I mean, from what I'm watching, everything looks amazing. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, you look at the ground and you look at the the, the car reflecting on the ground. Um, uh, this scene was pretty awesome. Uh, Z Grill in chat mentions, seems like, it seems like not a huge difference between the three after the intro. Yeah, there's not, like, the difference comes in the interactions that you have with characters, but not necessarily, like, I think after you get out of the intro, things are pretty much it's pretty much the same game aside from how you talk to people and um i think like certain character moments that hit different depending on your life path they had it coming. even the lighting that we're getting on jackie in the car like from from not only the outside but from the ui elements inside the vehicle um it's just so goddamn impressive dude this is insane <laughs> I also love how colorful this game is. Oh, yeah, bless. I mean, I'm just all about that. Like, when I played Watch like, Dogs... Like, I am in love with the art direction of this game. When I played Watch Dogs Legion, the main thing I did was, like, turn on ray tracing and go to the areas that had this same sort of neon vibe. Because that's all my shit, dude. So this part I haven't been to yet. I'm trying to remember what this part is. I think in my in my street kid playthrough, I like zoom past the stuff because I was just like, all right, done it already. Give me to the next thing. Is HDR on? I have it off, but I don't know how that translates to stream, so I don't want to do that and risk it. But yes, this is a 3080. So misty, I said hi. Oh, actually, no. This will just take you back to your apartment. Apartment, I think. Oh, got it. Um. Yeah, I think you're on your way back to your apartment. Did you have the bug blast where like in that intro scene where you're you're taking the naked woman out of the out of the bathtub and Jackie is like, come on, cabron. And he's not holding a gun, but he's like doing the I'm holding a gun hand thing. No, <laughs> that I didn't have that. Me. He's like, come on, cabron. He's like, just he was just holding a little finger gun up. <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> this Android must have bullets come out of his fingers. My favorite I've seen is uh, Jason Schreier. Uh, he was oh posting pics God. of how like mini mini trees would spawn <laughs> so in random good, places for him dude. uh and so he'd walk into a building look at the look at the floor and it'd be like a garden of trees like garden of small trees there for no reason that's so, really funny to me so good dude so good um yeah man like i could play the game or i could just walk around and look at lights chat <laughs> like i fucking <laughs> love doing this dude like one of my favorite things to do um as I spoke oh, about look this at that one. fire. I know, man. I spoke about this on the when we did the Call of Duty ray tracing thing. One of my favorite things to do is when I was in game development is like when I'd finish an object, just putting it in different lighting situations and seeing how the rougher parts of the metal don't reflect as much light as the shinier parts and just doing all that shit. So when it comes to games, I'm the same way. Like I I love seeing materials play in different lighting situations. Um, I'm just always blown away by that shit man. yeah damn i'm looking at my phone now granted obviously my phone a uh, compressed smaller screen but it looks insane <laughs> on my phone right now <laughs> dude i'm telling you i'm like watching this on my computer monitor and it looks hella crisp just watch it on your phone chat for like the best experience <laughs> it looks insane <laughs> dude all right what am i doing? yeah i want to see you get back to your apartment just so i can see you do the other like leave your apartment and go into the oh, the I'm world because... phone call bless from t-bug oh t-bug Oh, I should have made my window look like the phone call. Damn it. Oh, that would have been smart. <laughs> I, I kind of like tried modeling it after the radar on the top, right? First time I used masking in OBS? Man, I went off last night. I was up till four in the morning. Yeah, no, you, you killed morning, it. Dude. This looks great. Wow. 
Wow, that looks awesome. And here's the thing, I probably could get you on camera bless, but I don't want to risk it and tab out and shit, because like during all this, I have maxed out um my CPU is maxed out at around like 75%. My GPU is maxed out around 75 to 80%, which is like crazy. Because when you hit the hundred, that's when you're probably gonna start seeing some drop frames. Yeah. Um and uh, I'm, I'm kind of blown away that it's only done that. Now, granted, you know, I got to get into a big firefight and have a bunch of shit blown up, and that'll probably job frames, but um, I'm still pretty damn impressed by that. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of... Was that my apartment? Oh, what's this? What's this, plus? What's this? How do I pick it up? Did I not pick it up? I can't pick oh, it up. Oh, you should be able to. Anything with that kind of low icon. Oh my, oh my. Look at him. Might be so bugged. Handsome. Yeah, up oh, there you go. Oh wait, no, that's talk. Are there mouths not supposed to move? They are. Uh, so I haven't <laughs> been getting moving mouths. I will say that. That might be a bug. Um, well, not all of them, sorry. Um, there mm -hmm. have been several NPCs that mouths don't move when they talk to me, but some of them, when they have more standout lines, like not NPCs that give you quests or anything, but a couple NPCs in the club, most of their mouths move, a couple of them didn't move. And I figured, like, I that's probably a bug. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, that sounds buggish. Because I remember, I think all the mouths moved uh, for all the people I talked to. For, like, maybe for, like, the, M the NPCs wow. that are, like, these throwaway NPCs that only have, like, one or two voice lines. It's Moist Critical, everybody. It's Charlie Moist Critical right here. What else is going on in here? NPC mouths don't move, says Don Francis. Really? I mean, are those specific types of NPCs mouths that don't move? Because I feel like just, all, I feel like could, everybody I talked to moved. It could just be the super unimportant NPCs. Yeah, but I would I would imagine that they would have programmed at least like an automatic. Like, yeah, like like what every like all the unimportant characters in games just get yeah. uh, procedural like, animations based on sounds that yeah. your mouth is making. Ew, like what the they roaches. did for uh, all of Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, oh, the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> This is this is awesome. Yeah, again, like this comes comes back to the art direction and how well how good of a job they did at, at fully realizing every single environment. Wow. Wow, chat. Wow. <laughs> I that fucking apartment. love this, man. Yeah. Holy you shit. Imagine, dude. A little streaming imagine this being set up right here, bless. Oh my god. I got a bunch of like I got a bunch of all my best friends are here and we're all eating pizza. I got a bunch of like fucking uh, like bikini models all back here. And back here I have like a bunch of cool baseball players and basketball players, football players over here, NBA player. I already said basketball players, but NBA players would be right here. Tim Duncan, Greg Popovich would be like, this would be the coolest fucking pad in the world, honestly. Dude, remember what, like 57 years away from this being the standard? Yeah, dude. Maybe like, I don't know, 10 years at this rate. <laughs> I mean, honestly. I would love to have those hol uh, holographic LED <laughs> screens just floating in my room. So I, I just made myself like kind of Tim without a beard is what I realized. Blonde hair. Who do you look like? You look like somebody. I know. I realized that I couldn't put my finger on it. Um, but this isn't going to be my main chat. Don't worry. What? Oh, what happens when I... um. Wait, what happens when I turn off like? No, there's no way that the reflections. I it it'll use the it'll use screen space reflections, most likely is what I'm assuming. Yeah, it's gonna use screen space reflections for situations like that. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. No, a uh, thing I think is funny. Uh, Troy about Baker, the they said. The people said. No, I feel like he looked like somebody else. Really? Like a bat? Like a, like a maybe it's like a Blade Runner bad guy or something like that oh uh i mean uh ryan gosling and blade runner not ryan gosling not him hold on let me look up not the man you look like a, like a bad guy in some movie some sci-fi movie i might have seen but i can't figure out who or what movie does this make me naked uh if i shower 
Oh, you're, I forgot. You're Probably. watching Witch Stream, so you're behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I you it, had no like context for my question. <laughs> Does this make me naked, Blast? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Rucker Howard. Yes, I oh, think Rucker Howard. Rucker Howard. Rucker Howard's hair is fucking weird, though. He's got like a flat top. Look at that pillow, man. Look at the my pillow. Film grain and motion blur. Get him out of here. Do I have him off? I think I have him off. Yeah, motion blur off, film grain off. Get him out, dude. Let me look up. Yeah, Rugger Howard Blade Runner is exactly what I was thinking of. Oh, the eyes maybe? I don't know. The eyes kind of remind me of... Might just be of, the blonde hair. The eyes kind of remind me of... um, What's his face from Ghost in the Shell? The dude who's like... The other... Just the guy with the eyes. You know what I mean, Chad. I know what you mean. You know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Rest in peace, Rugger Howard, by the way. Yeah, dude. I always forget. Like tears in the rain, bless. So your stash is a secure system. Okay. Damn, dude. This is an open stash. So everything yeah, I pick up just comes over here. Well, you'll have to like drop your stuff off over oh, here. Oh, I Basically, see. Basically, like this is you drop when you see because you have like an inventory limit. And so oh, once you so start so, to fill yeah, up, you can just take everything here and drop it off. So some of these weapons are duty, caca duty. I'll drop those three off. I'll keep, I'll keep the, the white AR, I guess. There you go. Oh, I have. Sh oh, I have shirt. That uh, that shotgun though, unless you don't like shotguns. But that seems like it might be useful. What's the green mean? Oh, it just means more DPS. It's a. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the a green... huge. I'm not a huge shoddy so the... guy. Bless you know. When you have accuracy uh, like me, when when you're born with this gift, I believe the colors will be rarity. And so, like, yeah, so, like, green Makes is uncommon. Cooler. Green is uncommon. White is common. Oh, blue I thought you meant the color rare. of the shotgun, the fact that it was, like, red and blue. No. Oh, yeah, no. for sure. Yeah, the rarities, yeah. Oh, the katana's blue. Eh, I don't want a sword, though, dude. I don't want a sword. Bless. I feel that. I, I barely use a sword. I think I used a sword once just to see if it'd be cool, and it wasn't as cool as I wanted, wanted it to be. Like, I wanted to chop off somebody's head or chop off an arm, and it didn't work that way for me. Wait, did I remove the... Oh, I'm just moving it. I'm not... That doesn't mean I'm wearing it. I'm just moving it. Get, like, get the hats out of here, right? Oh, they give you armor? Holy crap. Slight to your door says, Dude, the katana is great. I beheaded some someone. Hey, why didn't it work like that for me? When I used the katana, it almost felt like a blunt weapon. I did, like, a lot of stabbing with it, but I... Yeah. I, I, wanted, like, I wanted, like, a cool animation where I just straight up chop limbs off, and I didn't just get that. slapping people. Yeah, I did get that with the revolver at a certain point, though, which was great. I, like, you shot people's arms off, and that shit felt awesome. Do you customize your nails? I don't remember customizing my nails. At the very beginning of the game, yeah, you choose nail color, and... I may have, like, it, sped by everything. I went yeah, straight to I the wiener size, your nail honestly. Color is pretty... I went straight to the wiener size. I mean, that, I would... Made that I did thing, the same thing, you know, two inches from the ground, you know what I mean? I'll tell you what, Andy, this game... Playing this game, uh, this this was the game that revealed to me that apparently I have a medium penis. You know, like I I didn't really uh, I never really thought about my uh, penis size in correlation with others. But as I was going through the customization options, I was like, huh. Learning stuff. Learning stuff about ourselves. I was, like I was I was flabbergasted. I was like, that's my penis. You know. Yeah. It was wild. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When did I go do uh, a? <laughs> I was gonna say. When did Cyro call me up? <laughs> <laughs> facial, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I, I, I guess I got the new loot. Give me that loot. Look in the mirror. Um, what do the other options do? Like, that's, uh, first off, the shirt not great. <laughs> Creepy. P pop off says sometimes I'm penis three, but usually I'm penis two. Cool. I get that. All right, I'm going to. Is I I just realized I don't really freaking know a lot of the buttons. Is I oh there we go. I is kind of like your clothing. Oh okay. Oh I have a perk available. So these are where I put the points. I don't really know if, if it's good or not. Oh yeah. So there's attribute points and there's perk points. And so the attribute points go toward one of these five options. And then once you go into the actual uh uh attributes. You can assign perk points oh. to like search, so like essentially to, to different trees. Like cool's kind of cool. I want to be cool. Um, cool is cool. 
Cool's cool. Technical abilities. I like I like the idea of crafting and, and kind of breaking into places where I shouldn't be quite a bit. Oh, quick hacking breach protocol. That sounds like what I want. When it came to hacking enemies, I feel like I'm not going to use that a whole lot. Um, but See, there, I'm I, sure there's I, moments where they kind of force you to do that. Yeah, they, they don't. Re at least in the main story, they they never really force me to do it past the tutorial. Uh, but I will say, later in the game, I found that I f I feel like hacking might be more fun than I gave it credit for in my playthrough. Because I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna hack people. And then later in my playthrough, I found I found instances, Rob, where I was like, man, it'd be nice to just fucking hack a dude right now and like make them go crazy or just make hack them this jerk. Yeah. Like, make them shoot their friend or something. Meet with Jackie. Let's go meet with Jackie, chat. Let's go meet with Jackie. Uh-oh, Regina Jones is calling. Do you have to answer every call? Is that like... Uh, no, but there are some calls that will automatically answer because they're gotcha. part of the story. It's basically like GTA 5. Yeah. Uh-oh, cops are here. These cops uh, lead to some sort of side mission, and I never did the side mission. And so every time I walk by my apartment, I'll see the cops and be like, I'm a street kid. I don't fuck I, with cops. I don't and want so to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just pass them by every time. Look at those real-time reflections, everybody. The puddles, you love to see that. You love to see that. Let's uh, let's go walk and meet Jackie. Oye, cabrón. Wow. This just feels real, man. Dude, I'm saying, like, there's so much <laughs> happening. Nah, bro. I'm gonna go meet my friend Jackie. So, if you... You're, pa you're passing by it, but if you went back, you could box that robot and, and open up a whole side, uh, side quest chain. How you like my new punching bag? Just All right, let's fucking next do next it. Oh, let me, you can do let it? me yeah, let's this do it. first. <laughs> There's also so much readable stuff in the Sure, game. why not? Well, he looks like uh, the robot from uh, the um, the Hugh Jackman movie. Dude, I, I just beat Demon Souls, right, bro? Like, come on, what are you trying, dude? What are you even trying, bro? Dude, that doesn't stand a chance. Are you healing? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, no, I got it. Let me tell you, I went through, I, I just went through so many Hugh Jackman movies in my head. Chad is saying Real Steel. Real I should have, Steel. I should have known it was Real Steel. I went, I went X-Men. I went La, 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 Les Miserables. <laughs> I went... <laughs> I was like, he's not a robot in Les Mis. Uh... <laughs> I was so, I like went through so many Hugh Jackman movies in my head in my head and Real Steel did not pop up. Coach Fred, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to Lay Miz before I got to Real Steel, which is hilarious to me. I love that. Oh, so he's so this dude sells stuff too. Okay, about these fights. Something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't. I don't trust this guy. But they're lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. Oh, he's my agent now. I feel like he's just kind of... He's trying. He's trying to get people in. He's it's a little predatory, like, bless. A little predatory. Like, dude, you're the best fight I've ever seen. He probably tells like yeah. 39 people a day that you know. Oh, 100 percent. Sounds fair. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Not a joint says. Is there a moment in the game where the character customization is taken into account? I've been I've been reading online. Apparently. Depending on whether or not you choose to uh, uh, to go with the circumcised penis or not circumcised penis, that might lock you out of like a romance option, which I find to be hilarious. But oh, I don't know if that's true. So funny. That was from like it was like I, it was from a, a post that was circulating around of somebody complaining on it, uh, in like a in like a um, a reset era thread or something. 
Oh, okay. And I was gonna I say read that, that and that I was like, like, just like a Twitter joke or some shit. Yeah, it might. It, it very much might have been a Twitter joke. Um, but I, I find that hilarious if that was, if that's actually the case. Oh, we're gonna go fight. Go to fight. You can change Kabuki. back to. You can change back the, uh, the quest. I think that fight in Kabuki might be too high level. Okay. How do I? How do I? You have to go to your journal. Ah, is that J? I'm assuming that's J. Bless. It is J. There Our you go. Main job, Ripper Doc. Ripper Doc's just a cool ass word, bro. Yeah. All right, me, Jackie. Oh, still down the elevator. Okay. Oh shit, Milf Guard. Experienced cowgirls looking for stallions. <laughs> Thirty-five discount. Use the promo code, bless. Whoa, I'm a call now. Mm-hmm. I'm loving the way this looks. I'm happy. Yeah, it looks incredible. I'm happy. I, I, again, I was just super worried going into this. Um, if you all know, I left my cooling cables sitting on the fan, and the fan wasn't spinning properly, or at all. One of them wasn't, and I thought it was my GPU. But when I installed the GPU, the cooling cable sat on the fan, and I. This is, this is my fault, chat. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. So this, is, uh, this is basically what I'm talking about when you step out and like, you start to get a taste of the open world. Once you so get past, like, a cool like, synth beat pop in, like boom, bump, 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 like something like that. No, I'd be cool if it did though. I can do it. Do it once you start. Once you step outside, yeah, start okay. uh, making the thing go. A little hopscotch, little kid. Yeah, like I mean, this look, this looks real damn good right now. This looks yeah. real steel right here, dude. Starring Hugh Jackman <laughs> from Les Misérables. From Les Mis. Uh oh, NCP scanner hustle. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Nah, bro, not me, dude. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. These intermediaries will inform you. Local gigs available. I'm about local gigs available. Okay. Cool. Yeah. As you get further into the game, I found for me the glossary. Uh, actually, I don't know if people have access to the glossary now. I think about it. Oh, no. Actually, no, there is. There is no, a thing in game. Uh, there's like a glossary that was my best friend uh, uh, when trying to figure out what these different things were between fixers and the NCPD and Ripper Docs and all this stuff. There's so much lingo and I love it. Um, but oh, the, every now and then. I thought the game froze on me there, but it was just buggy because it said C to close. C wasn't closing it, but Escape closed it. You keep your head down. Oh, damn. There you go. What's up, Don? What's up, bro? All right, let's see how the GPU kicks in here. Like, look at this. We took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Actually, it's not bad at all. <laughs> you eat that shit, bro. Let me let me just look at this. Let me just look at the distance, dog. Holy like, look crap. at this. It feels like a theme park. Yeah. No, 100%. Like, it makes me like it makes me yearn for uh, a time before quarantine. Where we could go to a new city and just like hang out at like after a convention. Oh my god, right? Go just to a restaurant downtown. Oh shit, I'm, I'm breaking the law. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're saying, Bless. Like, when you get there, you're already looking forward to the like dinner and drinks later on, you know? Exactly. Already yeah. looking forward to that brainwash. That's really cool. Oh, I got to talk back to Jackie. Let me go back to Jackie. The crosswalk. Sorry, chat. I was breaking the law there. Ah, there you are. Kyle Fan News. Too bad Blessing joined KF after convention went, conventions went extinct. <laughs> it is. I don't think I went to one convention after joining. Kind of funny. One day. Check. Since sirloin. Check. Sopa de fideos. God, I love fideo. Oh my god. There's something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both. 
because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. This is crazy. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. just kind of in awe right now. <laughs> just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking And I want food. Like, <laughs> watching this cousin. Getting night. hungry. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. What's the job exactly? So what's the gig? What's the gig? Your mom made Fideo? Oh, Gilbert, that sounds delicious, dude. Face to face. Okay, I pointed this out a little bit in our games cast review, but like when you're in these dialogue sequences with characters, I love how natural they are. Uh, like, Why do I gotta go? I always, I'm, I'm going to keep creating a Fallout because that's the easiest thing, right? But like in Fallout or Skyrim, right, where you talk to a character and all of a sudden like they snap and they're static and you're having a one on one conversation. I love Jackie here where he's just sitting, eating his food, talking to you, scratching his head, looking to the yeah. sky, look back, like all, all the different gestures he's making. I think that stuff is incredible. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. Yeah, this is where I'm wondering where do the where do the hand animated stuff go like obviously this seems very hand animated obviously um but it's, yeah i'm just kind of blown away right now <laughs> i know my way around fixers start off fixers they catch a client find the cheapest gong to do the job then drop their corpse at a landfill shit hit the nail on the head yeah it just feels very alive yep very live, like very natural. Like that was, that's one of my big um, takeaways from playing this game is like how living and breathing the open world feels and also dense at the same time, as you'll see as you start making your way through it. Yeah, I think of like the Mass Effect NPC conversations when you walk up to somebody and the camera sort of fixes itself and then they're kind of, uh, they always revert to the same pose. Yeah. Chat. And if any, if any of y'all have played Mass Effect, it's always kind of one hip leaning to one side. And then when they leave, it's always the same animation when they turn away. <laughs> Just thinking of all that shit. Yeah. Jack. Much appreciated. No, one of my favorite moments uh, in terms of like having these conversations feel natural uh, in this game is there was one, there was one uh, uh, person I was talking to and it was like this, this, uh, uh, manager of like this uh, this club and you know we don't really trust each other right like I'm I, I've, I've basically barged into his room I'm not supposed to be there but I'm talking to him because I need information from him and we're having this back and forth of like hey you need to give me this information and he's like no I don't I know the fuck I don't and I start threatening him and he starts threatening back and like and we're doing it in like a very mild tone but you can tell that there is uh, like anger there you can tell that there's like um, adversity there right and so he as we're talking, he slowly gets up and starts walking to a drawer. And in my head, it might like like I don't I'm not putting the puzzle pieces together of what he's doing. But as he's uh, walking to the drawer, I'm still talking to him, choosing these options. And he pulls out a gun from the drawer and immediately starts shooting me. And oh I'm like, oh shit. fuck! Yeah, and I'm like, I didn't I didn't I didn't realize what he was doing. And when he did it, I was like, oh, you fucking genius! And I get into like this fight with him. Uh, but it's like this such such like such a cool thing uh, uh, as far as what this game is doing. How do I reverse? Oh, just back. Okay, man, I'm so scared driving right now. There was like cops in the way. Oh yeah. Oh, let me I switch the camera. I, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say I immediately baby. go third person. Third person, baby. That's the way to go. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. All right, Doc. All right. Jackie Wells. Oh wow. Yeah, man. What the fuck just happened? I just... Oh, this guy just got run over. <laughs> or he jumped? Did he kill himself? It's... Uh, I think this guy committed suicide. I heard like a... Uh, oh, snap. What the fuck? Wait, are his... Oh, never mind. For a second, I thought he didn't have pants on. You don't belong here. Oh, God. Yeah, they, they look dangerous. These, these guys look dangerous. Man, this is nuts. Holy shit. I heard Kojimo's in the game. Yeah, he is. There's a, there's a fun uh, Easter egg with him. 
I must have missed it. It sucks because I almost came across that Easter egg, but I missed it because I didn't look around enough in that part of yeah, the game. Yeah, I think that's what happened to me too. It's like I got there, I got to the scene where he's at, and like you have the choice of, hey, do you want to go to your hotel room or do you want to walk around and explore for a bit? And I chose I'm gonna walk around and explore for a bit. And I talked to pretty much, I, I talked. It was like a like a bar area of a hotel. I talked to pretty much everybody in that bar area except for. Uh, yeah, where Kojima's at. Like, I didn't go to that uh, corner of the room, but I explored every other corner. I think that's what I did, too. Is it gonna be dangerous? Yeah, I was pissed off when Don't I saw <laughs> that he was there. I was like, fuck, man. We're bulletproof. I don't know. It could be dangerous. I was about to say, can this say object is not being lit off. correctly, but it's a thing I can pick up. That's funny. Just every corner of this is just insane. Yeah, dude. Wow, this thing just exploded into popcorn. <laughs> yeah, this game is easily my uh, pick for best art direction this year. Like Ghost of Tsushima being my other pick. Like I love Ghost of Tsushima's uh, art direction. Yeah. I think that is also somewhat unmatched but for what this game is doing as an rpg i think the art direction is fantastic oh you can pet the kitty i'm allergic and i can i can actually pet a Whoa. kitty uh in a video game world fun fact during my preview in june uh the kitty was bugged and so if i went to pet the kitty it would like start teleporting all over the place and they were like <laughs> Oh yeah, that always happens. We're gonna fix that by the time yeah. the game launches. Ignore Thank God that. they fixed it. <laughs> Ignore that. Old Ripper, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. This guy just is, looks so illegal. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Oh yeah, people are pointing out Ori 2. Ori 2 does have great art direction. Like it has, it has Ori art direction, so it's gonna be. Magnificent. There's a lot of good competition for our direction this year. Because I'll put Last of Us in that conversation also. And Hades. Yeah, Hades. Like there's a lot of great art direction this year. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. Tools, not toys, Vic. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major. Oh wow, that looked awesome. Yeah. Dexter Deshaun. Like, the thing that I'm just having trouble grappling with in my brain is that this just, this looks like all the fucking trailers that we're like, ah, it looks great in the trailers. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's just how it looks. It's crazy. Dude, there, there are so many moments, like probably at most, in most instances, if you like, you know, Put down the controller or put down your mouse and keyboard and just take a screenshot. It's gonna look fantastic, no matter where, no matter like what scene you're in. Yeah. If you just like leave it alone, the game looks so good as a still image or like a a um uh one shot of yeah like no at every at, at every turn this game looks amazing. Uh, v. Yeah, hold on. You got some cool ass shit happening in your in your place. I need more wet surfaces to get the full reflection uh, sort of benefits. Give me more wet spaces is what I'm saying. Give me more wet areas, chat. I love them wet areas. Uh-huh. Uh, V? I'm going to you, Vic. What's in here? V has come to Man, we were just talking about that blessing. Like, that. what a cool, a cool lead up that was. Dude, every single trailer to that game. Can I fantastic. Those things? No. The trailer before the launch of that game, where it was the, I don't know the name of the song, um, but it was like the. That that trailer is fucking amazing. It is uh, Skullface or whatever his name is talking about language and words he's like words oh yeah, and it's yeah. Like, oh it's so good yeah, it's so good dude 
It's like the spoken tongue has power, and it's like whoa. He's like giving a whole ass spoken word about words. He's the villain of the game. Metal Gear Solid Five for folks who are like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, I'm just stealing from you, Vic. Don't worry about it, bro. So listen then. Uh. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Is Eddie a drug, Bless? <clears throat> Eddies are is money. It's what they call uh, okay. Euro dollars. Ah, okay. Chair, please. So People are saying that they had a Victor relax. glitch here on console. Well, uh, what was the glitch? Man, I'm just blown away right now. Like I can't believe this. Como estás? Estoy bien, Vasquez. How are you doing? Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Eyeballs. Now check in. Just like the demo, dude. Kuroshi. Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the Jack market. in. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word. Jack me in and jack me this. out. I can do it for my <laughs> yeah, zip it up and zip right it out. I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. It what up, Webhead? Man. Thanks for subbing, Webhead. I, I haven't really been thanking Bruce subs a whole lot, chat, well but yeah. just know that I do inside. thank you in my mind. Thanks for subbing and resubbing here to Kind of Funny Games. Oh. I'm just going to pick, like, I, I don't really know what I'm picking, and I'm not going to. Yeah, know that it's that this stuff uh, costs money, and so be careful about that. Okay, got it. But, like, you have to get the eyeball, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the eyeball is, like, the free And you have to get the, you these to get. hands. Cool. A thing that I didn't put together until, one, like, midway said, through my playthrough was... was for these cyberware upgrades, you have to go to a river dock to upgrade them or to even equip them. Uh, and like you pay to equip them. And that was the thing that I didn't realize. Like this is this this scene right here is basically them teaching you that. Um, but like after this, I didn't put it. I didn't put it together. That you had to go to them. And so I would go to my menus all the time and be like, why can't I? Why don't I have any cyberware? Like, why can't gotcha. I equip, equip stuff? And then I finally I finally figured it out. And I was like, oh, I'm about to become way more powerful. <laughs> Uh, uh, now, but the stuff is expensive though, and so like I didn't even get as many as I, I wanted to because costs a lot to buy, costs a lot to equip. It's, oh, it's cyberware. There was a there was a recent game. I forgot the game chat, but I was streaming it, and I did not understand the leveling, and I was like, oh my god, I could have been leveling this whole time. I, I forgot what it was. I'm sure somebody will, will remember in chat, but it was one of those like, God, I'm an idiot, dude. I didn't know that this was even part of it. <laughs> I didn't know this is the game. Place arm. I'm scared, dude. Just like that. Thanks. No, it wasn't Demon Souls. It was a while back. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Could you imagine living in this world and like getting these types of hey, operations hey, done? Really I'm just, I mean, as long as it's safe, you know, Always going on but on. man, like I, first off, I don't know what I would upgrade. I would probably do like a zoom in vision. I think would be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Cause I always think about how eagles can see like a mouse from 30 miles away or some shit. And I don't understand how that looks to them. Right. Mm -hmm. How does that look to them? Are they just zoomed in all the time? I don't understand the. Uh, Are you? The I mean, I imagine it. it's like you know how like we're and I know, I know everybody can't do this. In fact, I don't even know if most people can do this. But like, for me, I can kind of like unfocus and focus my vision. You might. You know what I mean? Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I love making yeah. my eyes blurry all the time. I do that all the time. I wonder exactly. I wonder if that's like a similar thing. And like eagles are like it's it's that it's that same muscle, but it's, it then zooms in and zooms out. Yeah, like it, it it's fucking cool. cool. Right to you. Kind of like Spider-Man, how he, his eyes kind of like close, so you can see things a little bit better. Better than ever. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. It'd just be crazy to walk into a, a Ripper dock, though. Like walk into this place and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna let you take me apart." 
in this underground fucking bunker I would just you got. assume he's gonna kill me at any moment. Yeah. Best and it's like I just place my hand sitting. into this machine, but and you, and I just let this machine really do what it wants to me. Really. I probably if I if I was in an operation, I'd uh, I'd switch out my I'd switch out penis two with penis three in the game. PD That's what I do. Search. If I could go to a ripper doc. I mean, I would I would first off, legs taller, right? Um, uh, well, yeah. Limbs longer. That'd be number two on my list. LeBron basketball brain in my brain, mm -hmm. right? Like fuse them somehow. Put both our our brains in a blender, right? Because he doesn't know Photoshop, I do. Put both our brains in a blender, mix those up, you know. Mm. So I, I'd have full basketball IQ, and also I'd know how to, you know, mask out objects in Photoshop. Andy, is LeBron the greatest of all time? I think he is, yeah. I think he is. That's gonna be controversial. A lot of people are gonna go, no, it's MJ. I don't know. It's so hard to compare, man. They didn't Different have- Different like, What you need to do is you need a Spider-Verse where they are both in each other's roles swapped. Mm. And I just don't- That'd be a great Space Jam movie. Yeah, because, well, like, well, I, I I, don't know, man. LeBron has taken, like, the worst of the worst to the NBA Finals before. When you think about the Cavs teams early on that he was taking, it's like, who the fuck are uh, these me? teammates? And then you say, Michael didn't start really winning until, like, Scotty joined and stuff. But that's not Michael's fault that he got Scotty Pippen. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you mm -hmm. can't. You can't blame him for having, you know, better teammates than LeBron did. I don't know. It's yeah, hard to do, man. And LeBron's also, like, facing, to not to say Michael Jordan wasn't facing adversary, but, like, so you'll take this you know, going up against, um, now, like, Steph Curry now. and some it's, amazing yeah, it's, players. It's a different game. Yeah, it's a different game, yeah. man. People are shooting a lot more threes now. I think LeBron can guard one through five, and, and Jordan could never do that. Uh, Jordan's one of the best defenders, but he, you know. LeBron in back in the day was like whoever the best player is, whether it's a center or a point guard, I'm gonna guard him, you know. So I'm bigger and faster than everybody, you know. Show him what you're made of. Jordan watching right now going, and that's when I that's when I took that personal. <laughs> that's really funny. That's true, Don Somebody Francis. Let's just agree with that. Let's just agree with like different eras have different goats. Yeah, I'm down with that. Although, like, like, who I think is the goat, I don't have an answer. I don't watch enough basketball to have a strong opinion. Although, like, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put Kobe in that conversation. I like, um, you wouldn't. No, I, I like Kobe is. I'd say more later on. I don't know. Kobe was like a, a wildly inefficient player, um, hmm. like scoring thirty eight points, shooting. Eight of thirty, you know, um, that that happened a lot uh, more often than not. But he had that killer instinct. That's all everybody cares about. That's that MJ, that that uh, the Mamba vision when he would just go into Mamba mode and be like, I don't give a fuck what I need to do. I'm gonna score this point. He had that killer instinct. I gotta wait for V or what? Okay. Uh, you gotta talk to Jackie. Oh. Okay. Oh, I am V. Sorry. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me. For a few Gotta meet with Dexter Deshaun. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. Bless, do you watch any I sports? Exactly no, I, in middle school I used I to keep up with soccer. I used to be into, um, um, fuck, what's the league that's in England? Chelsea, Arsenal, Man U, all those teams. Well, for some reason, the, the name escapes me. <laughs> but I used to keep up. Keep Premier League. League. No, Premier League. Yeah, I used to keep up with job, uh, Premier League a little bit. Um, but that was like only for maybe like two years of my life, and then I bounced off hard. I will watch the World Cup though. I love watching the World Cup. Yeah, so do I. That's like the only soccer I watch. How's it going? Did How I play do you know sports? -bug. I did like to play soccer um, back in middle school and a little bit in high school. Seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. 
don't actually think I used to be a big fan of Chelsea player. because there was a there was a tra there was a uh, player named Didier Drogba. Uh, he used to play for Chelsea. Very oh, big look, fan. Oh look, this guy has something floating in him. Look, look at the bug. Like a needle floating in him. Wait, I don't see it. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. it was it like incense? I don't know what it is. It's gonna be long. You've been with Misty a while. Wait, yeah, what is that? Yeah, about a little a floating stick in his chest. Bye. All right, bye, Jack. I gotta go see Dexter. All right, cool, bro. Let's end this conversation. Hey, come on, Mano. You know I was raised right. Uh, Bless, can you just ignore Regina's calls slash missions, or do you eventually get pushed into them? No, you can ignore all, all that stuff. Like, you can literally ignore anything in this game and just do what you want. All right, let's go see Dexter. Dexter to Sean. Bring me the nighttime. Let me see these reflections. Now, I think you can. Oh, shit. Probably now. If you so pause the game, with these, you can probably. Uh, with these fast firefights, time. bless? Mm -hmm. What happens if I intervene? Uh, you can. Oh, these are cops. Oh. Yeah, and you can help them out if you want. They're like throwing grenades and shit over there. I'm gonna mind my business, bless. I'll be real with you. Yeah, I, I did. I, I intervened during my preview of the game back in June, and I got fucked up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they were not playing around. Turns out criminals very much want to live. They don't they don't give a fuck about your life. <laughs> I can smell the smoke. It smells good. It's been a while. Dexter Deshaun. Ample indeed. Let's roll. Let's fucking roll, Dexter. Rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th. The red skull good hunter are like elite enemies, more difficult to kill, tougher. You either somebody or you fizzle out. The Lu 55 says B boying is an Olympic sport now, uh, which I'm very excited about. I think that's gonna be cool. That'll be the first Olympic sport that I that I truly am very invested in because I love watching uh, b boy tournaments. What the, the hell is big that? b boys do their thing. Uh, break dancing. Oh, it's an Olympic sport. Is that what I heard? Yeah, they just adopted that. As oh, a that's Olympic crazy. Sport. That's cool. So, I'm gonna be going for rocks right if you're familiar with b boys. There was a guy that we were friends with. My brother was friends with when I was like a little kid. Who was his friend in middle school? Named Joriel, and he was like the cool guy. Then he had a break dance, and we Guess all thought he was the coolest cool. dude ever. He would come over and oh, that's awesome. he would do head spins, and I was like, man, dude, I just want to learn how to break dance, dude. Sure, and then I, that's when I got really into Tekken with Eddie Gordo. I was like, oh my god, this is all sort of coming together. Like it's all yeah. one thing. So sick. It's Only the, the strong capoeira. So oh, sick. So now there's a character in Tekken, in Tekken yeah. Seven, named uh, Lucky Chloe, who does uh, break dance fighting. Because like Eddie and Eddie and the, his his uh, clone characters, they all are doing capoeira, which yeah. is like the da Brazilian dance yeah. fighting. And uh, Lucky Chloe does like specifically break dance fighting, mm -hmm. and it is awesome. It is like it's 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 similar to Eddie, but she's way more uh, break dancey with her stuff. It is real time. Wait, are we getting like actual reflections on his arm? Whoa, hey, I don't know. I could zoom is? in like that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. That is crazy. Yeah, I think those are real time reflections. What's your thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Bet her it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of. Info. Maybe. I can't tell. Right, and. Well, like either way, it looks good. Looks clean. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Trippy Jumper. Appreciate you. Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much the you. Oh, you can right click and zoom in too. That's cool. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? It's not in the shot. Oh, for sure, Don Francis. Yeah, Don Francis, when, uh, you know, you look at Last of Us animations and their textures and stuff and how 
that game looks better texture wise and animation wise than this does you, you all you just got to break it down when it, it comes to budget it comes to you know that game being a linear game this game being insanely open world and where do you put those resources to um because you can only pay for so much labor you know but it still looks amazing <laughs> oh yeah little combat bot a prototype and i need me that bit of high grade military oh this is the 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 video the trailer thing don't get that bot we don't get no soccer chip and we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after but don't get excited it's a single use toy now i flat out purchased the damn thing from maelstrom problem is it looks better on stream than it does your series x that's I mean, I'm sorry for you, but that's awesome for me because I've been working my ass off to make sure it looks as good as possible as it can on stream without maxing out and dropping a 10 frames a second. Yeah, Dorito13 mentions, Lasso's 2 did ruin a lot of things. And now that I, now that I read, out, read that out loud, I think you mean, I think you're, you're meaning that Last of Us 2 ruined Last of Us, which I disagree with. But I will say, jumping into Ghost of Tsushima even after playing Last of Us Part 2, my first hour of Ghost of Tsushima, I was like, this shit looks terrible. And then I got further <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, this is great. It's just like the last of part two is just on another level in terms of production and character animation and all that stuff in a way that I should not expect out of Ghost of Tsushima or other or really any other game that is that has like an open world uh, or a different set of a different scope. Monochrome in the back is probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him. So she's keeping the shout out to NVIDIA for being like. Should we sponsor kind of funny like all oh, those PlayStation guys? <laughs> no, man, we got a PC guy right here everybody. Okay, I've just fully switched over honestly like it's I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming Yeah, I was nervous to start playing cyberpunk on PC because I would have preferred to play that game on console But when I started it and started to get into it, I was like, no, this might be the right way to play and now that I already, we're here, I already I'm bought like, a really well, long I mean, like, HDMI uh, cable to plug into my TV so I could play in bed too. Oh, I'm excited for that! Nice. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm. Later now. Goodbye, Dexter. Goodbye forever. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. So yeah, basically oh, I, 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 I had found to talk that to this dude. whenever I would upgrade or level up my street, ca street cred, new activities will then open up for me. Oh, so you'll get calls okay. from characters being like, hey, you're you know, cool now. Their new gigs. You're, you're cool on the streets. Yeah, that's the nice thing about uh, Cyberpunk in the way that they handle side quests and all that stuff. Because you're a mercenary, people or fixers will straight up just call you up and be like, hey, I heard you're the guy. Help me do this thing. And that will then open up these side quest chains, which I think is very convenient. I need to get to like darker water nighttime stuff because we just saw a change from ray tracing to screen space reflections. You can, you can fast forward time at any time. Oh, what? Yeah. If you press, uh, if you go to your menu, I forget which menu it is, the, uh, oh, not skip pause time. menu. The menu. Oh, yeah. wow. How long do you want to wait? I don't know, bro. Give me like five hours. Make it 8 p.m. You know what? Make it 4 p.m. It's daylight savings time. The sun, you know, takes mm. a while to go down. Oh, is that all I had to do? Wait, is it automatic? Yeah, Whoa. it just automatically does it. Holy <laughs> shit. That's cool. Um, all right, we're getting close to nighttime chat. We're getting close to nighttime. Man. All right, so, um, yeah, I want to get to a, another spot where I can clearly show you chat where the ray tracing uh, happens. And then when you turn it off, screen space reflections sort of uh, take precedent. Um, and screen space reflections are, um, they're using like a light or, or um, God, what's the word it was uh, like light spheres or world spheres um what you do is you put like an orb in the middle of an area and it does a sort of panoramic scan of everything around it and 
then tells the puddles and reflections and stuff to react to what you're seeing. So that's why sometimes when you're playing a game and you're running near water and the mountains are kind of reflecting perfectly, and then as you turn at a certain angle, the mountains are super off, and that's that's a faked reflection. Um, but ray tracing gives you that good accuracy. That good, good accuracy. Light probes, cube maps, exactly, Game on Benny. That's what I, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, Zona Mike says, Blast without spoilers, around what hour mark did you feel... Oh, no, I lost it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, around what hour mark did you feel like the story really started picking up? Uh, this is going to sound pretty bad, uh, but I'd say around, like, hour eight. <laughs> uh, and, like, uh, for me, it was when I, I hit the title screen where I felt like, okay, cool, I'm in, I'm in this now. Like, I'm... Uh, they really do a good job... Uh, the, so the prologue is a very long prologue, I'll say. Like, the prologue, for me, was eight hours, and you could probably get there in, like, six or five if you just mainline it, because I was doing side quests and stuff. Um, but the transition from the prologue into getting into the actual game game, or I guess Act 1, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for me, that was the moment. That was, like, the, that was the transition of, okay, I get what this is now, and I am really into this. Um, but yeah, that was around eight hours for me. You know what's wild is like when this game started leaking and people were like, watch out for spoilers. I've realized this whole time, I'm not really playing this for the story. Like, mm -hmm. if it if it did get spoiled for me, I like I don't know. I'm playing I'm playing to exist in the world. Um, one hundred percent. Like with the Last of Us two, I was very worried going into it, and I try to mute every hashtag and I even lied and told people that it already had been spoiled for me in case anybody wanted to be a troll and be a dick and <laughs> like I had my chat and sub only mode for a long time leading up to it um but yeah it was just so bizarre to be the way I felt about this game when people when people were getting the game early and it was you know things were being posted online um well that's that's kind of the thing about the the main quest I feel Compared to a lot of other uh, RPGs, the main quest just doesn't feel as substantial. Like it is, it is substantial, but it's not like it feels like it's just another side quest, but you know, way more, way bigger, right? And way more sure. like core than, way than, more the, than, the, than the side quest. Yeah, way more produced. But by the time I got to the end of the main quest, I remember finishing the game and being like, "Oh, okay, all right," and then like you know, not. At first, I didn't really feel much. In fact, I was kind of like, oh, like, I don't know how I feel about this. But over the course of time, I kind of I've kind of grown to appreciate how my game ended. Uh, uh, and like, I can't really spoil it. Like, I, we're going to do a spoiler cast probably someday. And I think that's going to be a fun, it's going to be fun to talk about the way our, our different games ended. Um, but I found that like it was it doesn't feel spoilerable because it doesn't feel like a uh, an a a to b to, to c story the way that last of us is or the way that any other uh linear game story is it very yeah. much feels like a hey this is an event that is taking place in v's life or whatever like th this is an event that is taking place in this uh, part of this world are. and you're a part of it but it's not the end all be all to night city and yeah. cyberpunk like the end all be all really is living in the city and experiencing all these different quests and uh getting all these different st small stories from these different characters that you meet along the way Maddox Jr. asked a very important question. Thank you for your, um, for your three month, wait, six month gift subscription courtesy of Nanobile. I don't know what's happening there with the gifting and stuff, but thank you, Maddox, for subscribing. And asks, has Blessing given up on his beard yet? That's Maddox Jr., who I often frag with in the war zone, uh, part of the Snowbike Mike hype squad. On oh, my beard? Yeah, have you given up on it? No, I'm still going. I'm still going. It's still, it's still growing. It's still here. Every day I think about it. I think about shaving, but I this is this is the furthest I've made it without shaving since uh, since like my twenties, and I'm curious to see where it goes. Right now, I don't like how it looks. If I'm being honest, huh. when I look in the mirror, I'm like, man, you don't like the man you see. I don't like the man I see in the mirror nowadays. Um, I feel like I, I could I could look more attractive if I if I shave, but who's gonna see me anyway? Well, what FPS are you getting with a 3080 maxed out? So I'm, oh, the only thing maxed out is ray tracing. I didn't, everything else is not maxed out. When it comes to 
all the other settings, all the other like 30 settings that you can select from. I only have ray tracing um, on oh. and lighting set to ultra. Um, but when it comes to distance shadow maps and uh, volumetric fog and all that stuff, I have all that stuff set to around medium. Some of them are high. Um, and I'm, I actually don't know the frames I'm getting right now, honestly. I, I gotta say it's close to 60, if not 60. Um, and I could probably make it go higher, but I don't know how that's gonna affect the stream. That always worries me. Um, but I've been, my GPU's kind of been maxing out around 75, sometimes 80% usage. That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complex. My yeah, I'm not even sure what I was running it at frame rate wise when I played. I do have DLSS on, yes. Or you get fucked. Yeah, so DLSS is, DLSS will make that thing like a solid frame rate. Yeah, and I could I could, I could make it go, you know, I could make the DLSS perform better as well because I am on balance. They recommended performance for the stream. Um and that does smooth things out a little Let's bit more. Feels. All right. That's also people which I were asking. I am I am 26. I mean, since I've turned 20, uh, since I've gotten past 20, I've not gone long without shaving. Uh, oh, look at that car disappeared. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, bless you. How do I put my hands away? That's funny. Um, if you go into your uh, like, if you hold, I don't know what it, what it would be on keyboard, um, but for me it was like I go into my my weapon wheel, and then there's like a there's like a specific thing that is. Oh, not a grenade. Ah. Oh! I threw a oh, grenade. No. <laughs> oh, I got run over. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Shit. Sorry. It's hilarious hearing you say the things and me seeing it afterwards <laughs> happening. God damn it. It is as hilarious as it sounds. I don't know how to put my fucking hands away, bro. <laughs> is there like a weapon wheel button? Because for me, it was Y. For me, I, I use I use my uh, I use my mouse wheel to scroll through the weapons. Oh. Um. <laughs> what if you click the middle button? Was that, oh, that hold alt? Wheel? People are saying hold alt. Oh, nice. Okay, so you just go to something without weapons. Got it. Okay, thank you, yeah. chat. No, it's the it's the gun that has the line through it. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I threw a grenade. It's like still the lady in the car that disappeared is still freaking out. Oh, I started just a total traffic jam. That's why people are freaking out. Hold on. Hold not on. The grenade. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Not the grenade. <laughs> There's the <laughs> traffic jam. Not the exploding. <laughs> Sorry. Jackie. No, no, no. I'm going in there, Jackie. Hold up, bro. Hold up. I just, I want to get out of people's way, dude. All right, let's do, let's do this. Oh, did that exit out of the whole mission? Oh no, he's right here. Never mind. There you go. Ah, there you are. Oh, my genitals are on. Let them know we're here. Yeah, I put the big wiener. Let him know we're here. Oh, he's the oh. Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Yeah, Death I think you would. Uh, you would have a. An objective indicator, but I think right now your objective is set to the optional one, which wants you to call Meredith Stout. Ah, uh, got it. But if you change it to the other one, which I think it actually, I think it just did automatically, and so you're good. Could use a few plans, though. Oh yeah. Oh. Now. I could hack yeah, these turrets. Did have you already gone through this portion no, of the game already? I have not. No. So, fun fact, right? You're going, you're walking into this place where you're about to like try and make the deal so you can get the bipedal Kojima robot thing. Yeah, these are the um, eye things. These are the guys with the eyes, right? If you, if you call Meredith Stout, she'll hook you up a little bit for this encounter. Um, but if you go into, I imagine you're gonna play this again anyway, and so this is yeah. a pro tip for the future. Um, you're gonna go in here. And they're gonna try and screw you, basically, and be like, because you, because oh, the thing you're Meredith. picking up, the thing you're about to pick up is already paid for. They're not, they're gonna act like it's not. They're gonna be like, fuck you, pay us again, all this shit. Oh, but if you went, in, instead of coming straight here, if you did the optional thing and went and went to Meredith Stout, uh, she'll then hook you up a bit so that you can get through this encounter a bit smoother. That's cool. God, the yeah. lighting is just ridiculous, chat. This fucking game is ridiculous, chat. Like, oh my dude, I god. I love that dude. red. 
I love uh, just the color red in, in general. I'm I'll tell you yeah. what, the lens flares like kind of like a little bit overdone, but I don't give a shit. I love that. When people make fun of J.J. Abrams all the time for lens flares, I'm like, bro, I love that shit, dude. Yeah, give me Looks more. It's incredible. Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. I've got a bad feeling about well, this. What time is Game Awards? Four. So this stream will wrap up in about 30 minutes, and then I have to go order food and then yeah, game awards time eat. baby i want to get drunk bless you drinking dude i'll drink let's man. Drink, i'm excited bro. i got a, I got let's a bunch drink. of truly's i can put to use i'm really excited i was so happy because you know obviously I don't, i'm not on a whole lot of oh, the gnat the gnat flu i almost killed it um i'm not a whole lot on a whole lot of games content um but i love doing the reactions and tim being like mm -hmm. you down for game awards like of course tim I love that's my favorite thing to do. Now, Andy, kind of if you ever want to, if you see on the calendar any day that I'm hosting KFGD, if you want to take over the, those responsibilities for me and host, always feel free, you know? Ooh, yeah, I'm what time is that? Because I got a lot of stuff happening at oh, those it's times. 10, 10 a.m. Um, Whoa, which 10 like, a.m.? Oh, yeah, 10 a.m. Uh, on Damn. during weekdays. That's so, right, it's usually yeah, before, think about before it. a show that, you're, that you'll probably end up being on, right before Internet Explorer or. Uh, oh, got it. I guess KFAF isn't happening anymore, but no, yeah, um, so it's canceled. Usually, forever. I'd imagine you'd probably be free because it's beforehand, you know, not not during. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll get back to you. What's your email? For sure. Uh, I'll DM it to you. Merc City. <laughs> yeah, Mer Merc City at kind of Merc City at KF. Dot net. Uh, Chad, I know I have a mission to do, but let me just walk around and look at everything, dude. What I do need is for these guys to stand near a puddle. All right. That's what I need these these creepers to do. Stand near a puddle. Let me see your stupid reflections, you idiots. Hold on. Let's uh, let's turn off ray tracing and just see what happens. Ooh, yeah. I don't suspect it'll be a whole lot different um, because they probably have just really well set. Whenever you're playing a game that has super realistic reflections and lighting, and it's not in the open world. It's like a main story path. That means that like devs went in there and just hand made the shit out of everything to make it look like a beauty shot sort of thing. This damn Nat blessing. I'm gonna fucking go crazy. Dude, I believe in you. You can get it. Yeah, so those are the screen space reflections. I see it. It just passed in front of my eyeballs. Yeah, so we're seeing their screen space reflections. Um, and then the, the reflections do get muddier and kind of noisier. Um, and when we turn it on, I think that's when we start to get a little bit more. Um, yeah, you start to see like the, the little eye pieces on their eyes and little lights on them. So cool, dude. It's just the coolest. Yeah, it's so good. It's just the coolest, chat. Now, have you seen many uh, Yeah, as they go out of frame, they will disappear from reflections. Exactly, Game of Button. Yeah, screen space reflection is what you're seeing in the frame. What's up, Bless? Have you seen many dodos since you started playing the game? No. Oh. I mean, I feel like I'm still yeah. early in. I heard that part of the review. In. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna get to them. Trust me. You're going to get Not those dodos. But at a certain point, you'll find some. I found people... So I think it depends on your... Um, your uh, life path, but there are some people there tweeting at me like, "Yo, I'm 10 minutes into the game and I found multiple dildos," which oh, I find hilarious. So maybe if you're a street kid or a nomad. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. A lot of dildos in the streets, yeah. Yeah. Just laying around. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, there's like a, a just a big. Uh, truck of dildos being transported. They always get exploded. A bunch of dildos just like sort of go flying all over the highway. Yeah. Oh it's actually connect, connected to a side quest. Ugly. These guys are ugly. They look awesome as shit. They're yeah, they're like Borderlands psycho type types. I know you want me to go over there, but let me look around, bro. God damn, this looks so good. If I don't go sit, are they going to Again, like me? the set dressing in this game very good no pleasure sleeves unfortunately not 
No, yeah, I don't think there are, there are pleasure sleeves in this game. That's why it's not. That's why it's not a ten out of ten. I want to get a pleasure sleeve, boss. I'll be real with you. I I asked him to get me one, and I don't know if he took me seriously or not. But I really didn't. do want one. He probably didn't. When I first heard pleasure sleeve, I thought it was just a a condom without all the lube on the outside. That's what I thought it was gonna be like. Oh uh, no, it's like it's it's a it's more like a condom for your hand. It looks like a loofah, like a or like a yeah. hand, like a. I don't know. Like a sponge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The ones that you use to get like really heavy grease out of pans, just really rough and coarse. Yeah. Take a hit. I'll pass. Thanks. I'm good. God, this looks amazing. I can't believe this right now. And this keeps up through the entire game, which is very impressive. I'm kind of bummed out. I, I didn't record this on OBS, so the YouTube version will be a rip from Twitch. And it'll be what Twitch is seeing instead of like a, a higher quality recording from OBS. So sorry, YouTube. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven control. Pin down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Hey, look how good this looks. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? We'll take it. I don't know what this does, but I'm gonna click it. Raven's not the dedicated control you can click it. Ha! Of course not. Militech controllers auto link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. We'll yeah, take it. We'll take it. Three. Secret. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Whoa, his head looks amazing. You really expect Why? me to pay twice? And expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. Big one. That's amazing. Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. I love the way his eye things move. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough points for that. No. Woo! Alive, well, and kicking. Sends his regards. Jackie and I just on the same wavelength, bro. Yeah. You gotta love Jackie. Hell yeah. Jackie knows what's up. Bang. Later, bitch. Let's fuck it go, baby. Dude. Nothing but headies, bro. Nothing. Oh, I don't have another dude. weapon. Oh shit. Oh, it's all. Oh, dude, I thought I had another weapon, didn't yeah. I? I? Oh wait, did I you had, not? I thought I had that machine gun. Check your inventory. It might be your inventory. It might not be equipped. Oh. So if you go to inventory, it should pause the encounter. Cool. Oh yeah, it wasn't equipped. Sick. Wait. Oh, and there's two weapon slots. Duh. Okay, got it. Cool. Let me just wearing a fucking t-shirt. Ready to rumble. Just head. Nothing but headshots here, chat. Head. Dude, I absolutely love the the gunplay in this game. 
You just once you get further, you, ooh, iconic. Once you get further, you start unlocking different uh, weapons and like different types of guns, and I find it, I found it so satisfying. Uh, you said upgrades, or you, you find one plus? Oh, you find you find you you find different types of guns. Oh, like, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, it's it's a very satisfying loop of finding new guns and equipping them. Like it reminded me almost of a Borderlands. Oh, a little blue gun right there. Oh yeah, no, that looks good. I'll keep the yeah. I'll, I'll, oh cool. Yeah, have a third slot. Yeah. Rock oh it. hell yeah, dude! And we got plenty of ammo, baby. Like I said, bot and controller. What's this? Ricochet. Oh, the ricochet things. Wow. Cool. Let's go. Wait, there it is. There's more stuff to loot, Jack. Hey, hold up, Jackie. I'm going to loot some weapons from these guys. In the future, we all talk like this. Equip the combat gadgets. Oh, little grenades and stuff. Like yeah, the grenade I threw at the wall earlier and then proceeded to get run over by a vehicle. <laughs> exactly. There are a lot of good uh, EMP grenades in this game too, which are very useful because there are a lot of technological, technologically based enemies. Oh, sure. Kind of like so making you can, glitch out and shit. Yeah, exactly. So you wanna, you'll want to switch back and forth between different types of grenades, which is really easy to do because in your weapon wheel, you can switch them there. Hell yeah. All right, let's go up here, Jackie. <laughs> and there's like an abundance, there's an abundance of grenades too, which I found nice. Jackie, we gotta go V. No, I have to check every corner for loot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do I gotta do? What's next? Oh, open. You were in my way, Jackie. Are you just stuck there? No. Oh my God, look at this. The alarm's going off. It's like, well, nah, dude. That's just a cause urgency, dude. Game design. It's like when the mountains are breaking in Uncharted, it's like, I'm safe, dude. I just gotta hit like, a good. button every three seconds, you know. Wait, where the hell did Jackie go? What the fuck? Jackie straight up just pieced out. Was I not supposed to? Oh, you jump up here. Oh, okay. I was so confused by that. Yeah, I was confused. Too. I was like, I don't even remember <laughs> this like, part. I, I guess I didn't level. even realize that climbing was a thing, you know. I don't need a ladder, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry. My God, I can't wait to actually like fully dive into this. Yeah. Um, yeah, because this is not going to be my character. I'm going to like try to make him look like me as much as possible. Again, very disappointed, Bless, that they do not have a mustache that is disconnected from the beard like mine. That's very unfortunate. Very disappointed, Bless. Very, very much so. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, you don't see shit, bro. You don't see shit. Um, oh, camera control. Here we go. Distract enemies. I'm in. I'm in the mainframe chat. Come on, hurry up. Do the hack, bro. Oh, you, you have to uh, tab out of the actual hack screen. Like right now, everything is everything is in slow motion. Oh, and now it's like on cooldown. Yeah. Because like when you hack, that it took me forever to figure that out. If you're gonna hack, and this is a good pro tip for those watching, if you're gonna hack, click the hack and then uh, oh, pop out. Got it. Yeah. We're also just be going up in slow motion like that. Man, I'm just gonna shoot these mofos, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Webb. Oh my God, there's like fire damage on this shit. Hell yeah, dude. Whoa. Look out. They got oh! No, oh, whoa. Oh! Overheated. I don't know how to throw a grenade, and I'm too scared to find out. Oh, yeah, critical headshot. Oh, so it looks like a. Uh, if I charge the weapon.
Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, who's hitting me? Uh, what am I getting I hit maybe, by? I think you're getting overheated. And that'll happen if, like, enemies, I think, see you through the camera. And, like, it's. I think it's basically oh, their version hacking of hacking me. you. Yeah, there is their, is their version of hacking you. Fuck. Yeah. That's. I was wondering, like, what those jumps were. I thought the game was, like, glitching out. Apparently, middle mouse is grenade. Oh, got it. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm going to die. Oh! One more, Andy. Uh, heal. Do another one, bro. <laughs> there we go. I forgot. I, I, you, I were all, you were almost dead. I was at four health, dude. That's what gamers do. Oh, no. Never mind. I was, that's just four. Level four, I guess. The left side. Hey, stop hacking me, bitch. For real. Oh, grenade! Yeah, bitch. Oh, I got hacked again. Shit. Ah. It kind of makes me like motion sick, even though it's not VR. But it's cool. Yo, who's shooting, bro? That overheat. Can you stop overheating? Oh, I got it, yeah. Chingada madre, wey. The pinche pendejo aquí, bro. I'm not hiding any bodies, man. I don't give a shit who sees me. Find a way to free Brick? Who's Brick? Is Brick like a friend? Uh, find a way to free Brick. I don't remember. It's an optional. I thought yeah, I thought Brick was a bad guy, but maybe Brick is a friend. Like this feel, this, uh, this mission for me feels like ages ago. ago. Yeah, like it feels like I did this mission like forever ago, because this was day one for me when I was reviewing. Heal and heal, like Papa. Uh, escape all, escape from all foods. Oh, this dude's shooting at me up there. Shit. Pre-beard blessing did this mission. That's a fact. Oh, I thought I had to, like, charge the weapon. Oh. Brick is the old boss of the game. Oh, was Brick, was Brick who you made the original deal with? And, like, that's why they're, like... You know, fuck you. We don't. You didn't. You, didn't, you gotta pay us again because you did the deal with Brick, and Brick is like in captivity somewhere. I must have missed that story beat. Oh, hold on. I gotta do it. Oh yeah, days. we're streaming, so we're not. We're not. We're not catching any of that. I don't know. I must have missed that story beat. I gotta do it in the. In okay, the everybody's game saying, remote. yeah. I see. I didn't put that together that you could have freed Brick. Like I somehow t entirely. Missed the optional objective. I didn't really start caring about the optional objectives. I think until like a little bit after this mission, just because I was obsessed with shooting people. I was like, "Yo, give me a gun." Whoa, get these guys got hops! Guns. Holy shit! Uh, I don't feel so good. There we go. Who else? Who else wants it? You're a brick. Uh, a lot of people are asking, are we streaming the Game Awards? Yes, we are streaming the Game Awards yeah. starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. 4 p.m. Pacific stream. time, everybody. Where is this jabroni at? Here they are. And I think we're going for like four hours. And so yeah, strap dude, in, a, everybody. It's a four-hour long stream, bro. I am buying a lot of booze. I'm going to be buying some snacks. Dude, oh, my God. I'm going to order pizza. I can't wait, man. Ooh, that sounds like a good time. I cannot wait. This is going to be a fun one. I, 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 like, out of all the streams that we've done this year for reactions and stuff, this is one that feels more like a, hey, let's fucking kick back and just have a good yeah, time. Yeah, it's vacation. Yeah. It reminds me of every time like, when we were when we were going on the world tour like stuff, and Greg yeah. would always be like, kick back, it's vacation, and Kevin would be like, no, I have to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't just kick back. This is work. This isn't a vacation. <laughs> I have to control the camera. Oh, I keep getting overheated, bro. Hold on, let me try to hack a. Let me try to do a hack a lack.
Um, yeah, the overheating was like the one thing in combat where I was like, I don't know what to do about this. Like, I cannot figure out how to not get overheated. And so I'll just kill everybody as fast as possible to get over with. And uh, I shoot cameras and stuff too, because I, th I think overheating, chat, you can correct me on this if I'm wrong. I think overheating happens or can happen if they see you through cameras. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming it is, because the red cameras show up on screen or the. Like some sort of camera show I think, up on screen. I think, to ha I think they're basically doing to you what you would do to them, right? Which yeah. is like, they go into their system and then they see you on camera, they'll hack you. You know, like that. do unto others sort of thing, but you know. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> In warmer climates, so over overheating can occur. Uh, thank you, Sam W. Who's left? Get out of my way, Jackie! Quit overheating me, bro. Please. Oh, this. Yeah, there's the camera that was hacking me. Yeah, Notorious Pig says overheating really confused me. That makes sense, though. Yeah, it confused me too, and I, I, like, for me, it was overheating never became too much of an issue because it doesn't do that much damage. But it was always a thing of, all right, who can see me? Because usually I overheat when people see me, and yeah, I, so I, I assume that they it's a visibility thing. Early on, I just kept thinking that there was a uh, an enemy that was like invisible hitting me. Oh yeah, see here's the camera they're using. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. This game's cool. This game's pretty cool. It is cool. Handy, what do you think of Cyberpunk? It's cool. That's it. That's the review. Cal Fenu says uh, Andy's or uh, Andy got to get Andy's got to get a fan mod. I'm sure that exists. I'm sure there's some cooling chip you can install into your cyberware that'll fight against overheating. I would not be surprised. I mean, I already got a fan mod when I discovered that the fan on my GP wasn't spinning since I bought it because I installed it incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are live streaming the awards. Uh, Game on Benny says that lighting is gorgeous. Uh, that's because of the power of ray tracing in the NVIDIA's uh, GPU that um, Andy's rocking. The power of ray tracing, everybody. The power of ray tracing in DLSS and through NVIDIA. On, like honestly, RTX. I've, I'm. I've been around 68 to 70 percent GPU usage, which is pretty nuts. Because I expect a lot of these firefights to be noisy and bad for. Um, just for performance, you know. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sick. Nah, you didn't see shit, bro. Oh, you totally saw me. All right, you're going to hell then. Critical damage. Damn. Just give me all your loot. I'm only here for your loot, dude. Man, this gun rules. I like this gun. Nothing cooler than weapons that have elemental modifications yeah. to them, bless. Very Weapons satisfying. that freeze people. That's why I'm so looking forward to Outriders, man. That shit got oh delayed. Oh my god. I dude, for... that's coming out soon, too. That's dude, like early yeah. next year, I think. It was, I was like, back in like September, I was like, dude, Outriders is almost out. And they were like, Andy, it got delayed like three days ago. They announced it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I got no. so sad. Very excited for Outriders. Oh, why did I just pick up? Oh, I probably have to. I gotta equip. I gotta equip. Um. Oh, I should probably unequip the. This crappy one. How do I unequip it? Unequip. Oh, middle mouse. During one of the training exercises, it was telling me to use my middle mouse button for something, and I did not know what it wanted me to do because it just looked like a mouse icon. Oh. Uh. And I was so confused, like, dude, I, this is broken, bro. I was so mad. No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. The Let's see them. That's the way to do oh, there's not the enough puddles. Time. There's not enough puddles. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the reflection there. But I just want there to be more puddles, man. Give me more pud. Enough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. 
Nice of you to just walk right through me, bro. Yeah, this looks insane. Ah, I love this town. The city of endless opportunity. And brother Lee. Uh, Notorious says, I had a big boss battle with Royce course. at this point. You know um, was he killed earlier in the stream? Yeah, I think Royce would have been the first person we pulled Less the trigger on. Straight yeah. Not. And Murk so I ass. didn't... I didn't notice that. I didn't even think about that because I also had the big boss fight uh, because I didn't pull the trigger on him at first. Oh, yeah. That's and the that's the one where he's got a big ass gun and you're like t tripping away at him, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. Wow. I, that's didn't, I cool. didn't put that together. That's, that's really cool. That's cool. Th I was expecting that to happen right there. Like, yeah, because I, I, like, legit, I like, looked away. I was I was just thinking that I was like I looked away and I looked back and I saw you're outside and I was like I didn't say anything but I was like damn Andy really like went through that boss fight really quick <laughs> <laughs> like that boss fight took me like seven minutes I'm I'm shocked by how fast Andy did it you know gamer um let me go to quality ray tracing just see where that puts me GPU wise what? I mean wow not I mean it's actually not bad uh, I I mean quality DLSS sorry um all right bless well. We played some cyberpunk for about two hours. We did. We talked about DLSS and the benefits of having an RTX GPU from NVIDIA. Again, I played this whole thing with a an RTX 3080 and streaming a game like this with ray tracing on, damn near impossible because of just how heavy it is on the GPU. But then turning on DLSS, and getting that performance boost is just pretty damn nuts. And uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure having you here with me, Bless. I mean, thanks for having me, man. I am down to talk Cyberpunk anytime because I love this game. Uh, and it's been nice seeing it played in a way that I wasn't able to play it because I don't have I don't have Nvidia. And so you've made me jealous today. This is this is beautiful. Thank you once again to Nvidia for sponsoring this stream. Uh, we appreciate all the help and support. Again, I play this with an RTX 3080 with Ray Tracing Ultra settings on and DLSS, which just makes the, the performance a lot better. And honestly, this whole time, I probably could have been playing on the higher setting of DLSS where it, it makes this, the image look even sharper and clearer. Uh, but I put it low just because I'm, you know, this whole streaming aspect is kind of worrisome for me, doing all that stuff at the same time. And that's also why you couldn't see Blessing in the video, because I was worried about that as well. But um, a lot of people in chat were like, man, this looks better than what I'm playing on console right now, which is uh, that's great to hear because I worked my ass off trying to get the stream looking great. Um, thank you once again, NVIDIA. We love you all very much. Um, and hopefully we'll see you all soon for another video where I get to play video games with ray tracing because it's it's awesome.